Hey Cap Hawks, today is RV maintenance day, so today I'm going to install the RV airflow system. I'm going to install one, show you how to do it, and you stay tuned till the end of the episode. I'll give you a code to get 15% off the purchase of your RV airflow system. Also, I'm going to go ahead and tape up the cracks, the openings, the gaps in the airflow outlets up here in the ductwork, so I'll show you how to do that, and there are some gaps in those things, so. All right, let's get to work. Here we go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Okay, Hawks, let's take a look at what's in the RV airflow system box or kit that you receive when you place your order. Just open it up here and take a look. Now the RV airflow will work with Dometic Coleman AC units, Dometic AC units, and they just come out with a, uh, a model to fit the Furion AC unit. So what's in the box? Well, you have instructions easy to read instructions you have your actual RV airflow unit you get a sticker you get some replacement duct inserts this is for the uh, Coleman Mach AC unit Has some foil tape if you need it and the actual RV airflow system now the way this works this connects or this butts up to your AC unit at the top so you would install it like this AC air is forced into here through these slots and pushed out through the sides through into your AC ductwork this alleviates any loss of airflow due to cracks crevices or what have you inside your AC unit. It actually receives all the air and pushes it directly into your ductwork, increasing the airflow throughout your RV. RV airflow says increases up to 40% more airflow through your AC unit, through your RV. Now we've had this installed in our main unit. We tried one before we got some more of them and I could definitely see a difference. Now I, I put one in the garage and now I'm going to install this one in the uh, bedroom AC unit. We have three AC units in our, in our system. Now having this installed in your unit, it will definitely cool your unit faster as it increases the flow and production of the air just being pushed out through all the ductworks. It makes your AC system even quieter as mine is on right now and uh, it's definitely made a big impact from the loud rushing noise of the AC unit. It definitely makes it quieter. I can attest to that for sure. This will save energy. So if you're hooked up at a place where you got to pay for electric, this will save energy by increasing the airflow, improving the performance of the unit, therefore minimizing or minimizing the amount of power it takes to run your AC unit. Grain Design believes in these products so much that since June of 2020, they, they are now installing them on all of their Grain Design units. Evidently, we just missed out on that part. I put one on the garage unit. Now I'm putting one on the bedroom unit. I'm going to show you how we install this. And I'm also going to show you some tips on making your uh, AC ductwork even more efficient on top of installing this. At the end of this video, I'll post a link to the RV Airflow website and you can use the discount code that I will supply you here. My friend Jared, he's a dealer. So he gave us a discount code to share with you guys. We get nothing out of it. Uh, but it, it'll get you 15% off the RV airflow. So, let's get this thing installed. All right, your first step is to remove your vent covers and vents. And look at that, she's a little dirty in there. Pop these off, just like this. Now, we wash these quite often. But they can get a little dusty on them. As a matter of fact, they get dusty quick. And the next thing you want to do is undo these four screws right here and this piece will drop down after you take those four screws out this will come on down 
and you might want to clean that up too and then you just remove this screw and this screw and this piece will come down and man we got to clean all right once you get your coleman mock cover off uh it, it's dirty up there folks but there are cracks and crevices in here where air escapes um behind here so you're going to take care of all that i'm going to show you how to take care of all that with the tape but this comes out simply just remove this diffuser there's a dang stink bug on that thing man stink bugs all right our next step is to take this plate off which is right here and you're going to take it completely off next we're just going to take the screws out right here and pull these out uh, i'm going to cut the tape and get these on out i might just be able to do that i'm going to retape all this and reseal it before i install the uh, rv airflow and as you can see i mean it's not the most efficient there's so many gaps in here where air can escape causing a less efficient ac performance here's a prime example look at this gap right here all that ac is getting pushed into the ceiling and not through the actual ductwork so we're losing efficiency that's for sure so i'm going to tape that up and seal that up there also but so far this is what I've done. Cut off all the cracks and the seams. And uh, this is another example. We'll tape that up, seal that up better. This, this stuff's just going in the ceiling and making it less efficient. But that's a big crack right there. I took out all those gaps you see. I'm not heating and or cooling the rafters anymore because we do have a heat pump in this unit. So I'm all taped up. It should be more efficient. Now you give yourself a dry run. So this is how it works. You see that goes up into the pendulum there and assist right in there. And you just use the existing bolts, put them in there. Now this is gonna be the tough part. You gotta find a hole without being able to see it. Imagine that. You gotta run your bolt up in there to mount it. But that's in effect what it's gonna look like when it's mounted up there. So this is our next step. We're going to give this a dry run. We're going to take our bolts, run it up there, and make sure it works. See if we have to adjust our AC unit at all, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, next we're going to insert our duct works. These come with a kit like that. Give them a dry run so that they looks like it'll work just fine. And what you do is you take these seals, you take the yellow tape off, and you're going to wrap it around the duct work just like that. And when you're done, it should look like that. Then you're going to remove the white tape, the white backing, and mount it right in there, and it's going to stick right in there. Now, this is going to be like a cushion seal. It's going to expand and contract. You're going to mount your RV airflow in here. It's going to press against this, forming a nice tight seal, and that's going to alleviate any leaks also. So let's go ahead and we'll put that up and on to the next step. All right, both sides are up like that. Now we're going to wedge our RV airflow up in here. We're going to start at 45 and wedge it up in there. And if you have any difficulty uh, doing this, you can use the directions they say and cut a piece of the directions out and use it as a shim. But all you got to do is just compress it back side to side and then flip it up there and uh, mount it so that's what i'm going to do next all right as you can see the rv airflow is compressed up in there against those duck inserts so everything's going to be nice tight and efficient as far as airflow being forced out of the rv airflow going that way into the ductwork, therefore cooling your rv and now you can understand how much of an impact this will have in regards to efficiency so oh uh, now comes the fun part mounting your plate back up and getting the bolts aligned trust me trying to find that hole is like a squirrel you know what i'm saying so here we go 
All right, the easiest way to do this, I found, uh, you may come up with a different method. You could tape it up there, I guess you could do that. However, uh, I hang one bolt, so I don't have to hold this up trying to mount the bolts. So put one in there, and maybe two. I might go on the other side, put the other one in, so I'm not fighting this thing constantly as I'm trying to put those two rear bolts in. Oh my goodness, Cable Hawks, I got it on the first try, just about. So they're, they're all on there, so I'm just going to tighten them all up left i'll do the opposite corners do the opposite corners this is going to draw the ac unit back down onto the rooftop uh directions say 20 foot pounds of torque uh, but i'm going to use my impact uh so i don't tighten it too much but that is uh i got lucky first run <laughs> now the the one ac i did in the garage i was not so lucky it took me forever to get those bolts in but hey man we're in there we just gotta tighten up and close up. All right, guys, our RV airflow is mounted in there. That's how it looks. The bracket went up. It's all a beautiful thing. All I gotta do is put my covers back on. All right, there you have it, Campaholics. It is all installed. We got air flowing coming out of here. Blast of us. It's blasting out of there. Um, I wrapped all these. Every register we have. Yeah, finally figured that board out. Every register we have uh in our rv i wrapped them like that take them up to make them more efficient take out any gaps and uh it's going to pay off when we're in florida when we have to pay for electric this coming january as we're going to be seasonals down in florida still birds getting away from the cold weather of the north so when you go to purchase one of these or two or three, depending upon how many ACVs you have, you're going to go to rvairflow.com and you're going to enter Burnett TWM15. That's B-U-R-N-E-T-T-W-M-15. At checkout to get 15% off each RV flow you purchase. So I'll post links below for all this material thanks for watching we're going to be nice and cool this year as we have all of our ac units all three of them hooked up with rv airflow we took out all the gaps and the cracks in the system we should be real efficient now all right we'll see you in the next video give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe below Bye bye